Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, and welcome back to episode 4 of Let's Play The Godfather. In the last episode we took over a lot of shops, and we had some struggle at the warehouse, but in the end it was no match for uh, the great Jacob and his great mustache powers. And please get out of the car, thank you. And now, first things first, I think before we, we should do more missions, we should just find and bribe a FBI agent. I think that would be the best way to start. There's supposed to be one down there. Because if we don't bribe them, they're gonna bomb our businesses. And we don't want to be bombed in our businesses. That's not cool. Ah. <clears throat> ah. Alright, let's do this. Let's get this commentary started. I'm kind of rusty. I don't know why. I just feel kind of rusty, but it should still be good. Just gotta avoid the cops. We still haven't had like a real cop chase. Oh, wait, there's a Tatalia store right here. I'm sorry, I just, I have to take it before. Oh, really? Is that how you're gonna, oh, wait, the cops are after me. Maybe they're actually gonna help. Come on, Tatalias. That's not good. Uh, run! Hey, what's up? Oh, thank you. That's all he wanted to say. Oh God, I'm running out of ammo. Better do this fast. Hookers everywhere! Not good! Alright, there's the buyout guy, I think. Yes! So I went straight to the rackets. I think the lady extort thing is downstairs. Ooh. That's interesting. Hell. Hey, what do you think you're doing, mate? You! Giovanni, di amico. Oh, I killed Giovanni. Goodbye. Sad it had to end like this. Who are you? Katie Rourke. <gasps> hey, I met your husband in the last episode, Mike Rourke. Pretty cool. I think it was in episode 3. Not really sure. I know I have a respect level. I'm saving the bonus for if I really need it. Wait, is there more people? We're all fighting outside. Alright. Right after the E. Wait. Where are there you are! Well, the snub nose isn't too bad. Kapang! Exactly, so you better pay up. Come on. It's only you be very Some people don't like to be pushed around. Something else I haven't tried yet, which I should... Uh, it's kind of difficult. Uh, there we go. <laughs> That's good. Because then I'm going to extort you even more. We can actually extort this guy a long way if we can take him to the E. I just gotta make sure not to kill him this time. Get back up. Alright, we're gonna move around for a bit. We're just gonna dance. DJ, hit the music. No. There we go. A little punch in the stomach always helps. Oh, this guy's paying good. I haven't even found like the weak spots. Maybe it's beating up the customers or the people here. Ah. <gasps> Sullivan! I think I met one of his friends a little while ago. Sullivan. Ah, that hurt my hand. <laughs> that hurt my hand. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, dude. You're you're getting so screwed right now. I'm taking all of his money. That's pretty good. Holy shit. Exactly, you can't. Alright, in this episode we were supposed to do a quest, weren't we? Oh. Holy shit. Of course it's a Tatalia car. It had to be a Tatalia car. Alright, I'm out of there. That's just way too much trouble. We just gotta find the FBI agents and be out of here. So we're just gonna do like a story mission or two. Just get some... Maybe like join the family. We're still like an outsider. Try and become an enforcer. I think the FBI agent is somewhere up here. There we go. How much does it cost? 3,000? Oh, dang it, I don't have that much money. That's actually a lot. Uh, I, I guess we can live with a few bombed businesses. I'm not paying 3,000. Out of my way. Come on. Seriously. Psst. Psst. Now there's a guy up here who's selling like the golden magnum. Now, some of the best, like, weapon merchants are protected by mobster families. 
So we gotta keep that in mind. There's a merchant coming up. I might wanna check him out. I don't know what he's selling though. I love the pigeons. Alright, what do you have? Nice, huh? I'll give you a good price. Tommy get ammo? Yeah. Thanks. Enjoy. I'll take it. Oh shit. I didn't know they were coming today. Oh. Yeah, Barzini. That's not good. We can't pull a weapon while the Barzinis are here. The Barzinis are freaking fierce. Alright. So we're trying to get to our quest objective. We gotta turn around and take a left. Oh, the stupid cops, come on. What have I done? I've done nothing wrong. Maybe a little wrong. Yarg! Okay, that was wrong. Sorry. They're in my way! I'm driving a car! Okay. I'm actually a nice guy in real life. I just... You know, in games, you have the chance to get the evil out of you, so... Why not? Whoa! Stupid... The thing is, the cops in this game don't care if they run over civilians. I can... I often, like, push them onto the sidewalk. Look at this. What the hell are you doing?! You're supposed to keep order and peace, not... Oh, gee, that guy is a freaking... There we go, he crashed. He crashed, he's out. I just gotta f figure out how to, like, look over my shoulder. I don't know how to do that. Oh, where do you think you're going? Oh, evasive maneuvers. I just drove straight past the place we're supposed to go. Yeah. Ooh. Right. This is gonna be tight. Roar. I failed. Right, he can't dodge that like I can. But I think I got away from him. So now it's time for... The Corleone meeting. No, nothing's going on. They're still expecting you to be a noob at this part of the game. A grave situation. No Sicilian can refuse a request on his daughter's wedding day. And so the time arrives when Bonazera's request must be honored and his daughter avenged. Poligato. A Corleone made man working for Capo Pete Clemenza, Marty Monk Malone, Irish Italian wise guy with the Corleones. Here we go. Give me a drink. I'm looking for Pauli Gatto. Luca. Luca sends his love. So you look his new errand boy? I ain't nobody's errand boy. My mustache hey, is greater than joke, yours. Why don't you? Take it easy. Take it easy. Look, Luca told us about you. He's just uh, busting your balls, Pauli. Right, Paulie? Thinks he's a comedian. Meet Marty Malone. He ain't a pretty sight, but... Uh... My friends call me Monk. Monk. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Okay, okay. Oh, we look so party. epic. I love it. Work to do. Now follow me. It's right around the corner. We look so young compared to them. They're all wrinkly and... The realistic. The daughter just got out of the hospital. She got beat up pretty bad by a couple of punks. We gotta off these guys. No. We're under orders. Just beat them up real bad. So all right. you cool. I'll show you what to do. So we gotta beat up some punks to beat up a girl. Sounds pretty legit. Holy shit. We got your back, girl. We got your back. Oh, rats. I don't know if we can actually walk in this game like normal people. Oh, we can crouch. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is some fucking small shit. Oh, you get back here. I'm gonna kick your ass. So this is supposed to be like a fighting tutorial. Bang, we can slamming into walls, throw him over here. Just go. I'm just gonna beat him up. Oh, for Christ's sakes, they're just a couple of college kids. I don't care. Uh. Alright, so that's one of them. Just the other one. Got him. Bam. How dare you call her a damn broad? Get up. Yes, I can move around. I can throw. And I gotta slam him. I'm sorry about the tutorials. It's like I don't know what I'm doing. Professional mobster. And you're going down. Alright. Well, well, well. Looks like there's nobody home in this one. Nah, he's down there. Maybe he can use some. <laughs> oh yeah. Grab a shovel, monk. Please, I won't do it again. Oh, we know you ain't gonna do it again. Jeez, you should have learned to treat the games a little nicer, with a little respect. Oh. Now it's too late. Ding. 
Good night, sweetheart. Oh, I love that scene. That's enough. Classic. A grave situation. We protected a woman in need. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Got some money, got some respect. Alright, what's up? Luca was right. You got balls. Balls. Just like he said. Now get the hell out of here. He's waiting for you over in the Bowery. The Bowery and little Italy. He got it. All right, I want a fast car. Oh, something I want to do first though. All right, look at this. Doom, doom. Crush this. Why did I stand in front of a car? <sighs> that has to be like the stupidest death ever. And that was, it was... Where do you think you're going with that car? Oh, just running over two civilians. That's great. That's really gonna help. Get out of the car. That car is mine. Oh, wait. Not kill you? What do you, what do you think? What do you think when you run off like that? Get back here. What is your name? Oh, it's Mar- it's a me, Mario! Get out of here, Mario. I need your car. Stupid bloke. Alright. Gotta meet up with Luca at the Bowery in Little Italy. Once we get to join the family, we get more of the cut. I believe we get like 65%, which is not like a big freaking race, but... It, it helps. And these missions are pretty cool, actually. Sleeping with the fishes. It's still training missions. Don Corleone, having refused to deal in narcotics with Sal Salazzo, new reprisals would follow. So Luca is sent on an errand to join with Salazzo. This is Bruno Tatalia, underboss and son of Don Tatalia, and Salazzo, the Turk, helping the Tatalias build the narcotics rackets. Follow me. We gotta learn how to shoot. Hey, I've taken over a warehouse, dude. Come on. No faith in me. And I guess we're just gonna. <gasps> I get the moves like Jagger. I, I don't know. All right. And talk. This ain't no weapon like from your army boy days, but it'll do the job. Come on, let's oh, see okay. what you can do. Snub hey, nose. Thanks. It's a loud one. Scares away curious people. Can't be traced neither. Pretty useful then. Dummy, a few slugs to. Chest. Bam. What if your target's wearing a vest? Bam. Fast, kid. Bam. Okay, Jesus. Boring move. aiming. That's the way. And now look at this. I'm gonna do a. I I can't aim wherever I want to. Boom. Yeah, that was fun. And H to conceal. I got there we go. For the dark. It's a secret, and we're the only ones who know. So let's keep it that way. Huh? All right, secrets are always good. We're going to Midtown, and you're trying. I don't like Midtown. It's too many Barzinis. Oh, I didn't mean to hit my own car. All right. Ooh, timer. I think we're gonna get some uh, cutscene thingy. Some dialogue from Don Vito. Oh, those cars! We can only find those in Midtown and other areas. They're so good. They were fastest cars in the game. Find out what you get. So Midtown is mostly Barcini, and that that makes this place really tough to take down, especially the compounds. Look at this. <sighs> Luca is such a shut. Like, what was it called? Suck up? I don't know. No, he's just he's just with the family. It's okay. And whew. it's going pretty fast now. Can't lose the momentum. Yeah. And stop. Perfect. Didn't even scratch the car. It's probably my mustache who drove the car. Jacob was just watching. There's an alley over there where you can keep an eye on the meeting. 
Now, if anything happens, you get out of there fast and find Monk. Alrighty then. We'll go in the alley. Io capito che non sei contento più la con la famiglia Corleone. Capace che vuoi cambiare. Ti vuoi mettere con me? Do you speak in gibberish? Gibberish! Ooh, that's not bad. Va bene. D'accordo. Va bene. No! Luca! No, don't turn into a fish person! No! Damn it! Oh! They saw my mustache! Oh dang, we're in trouble! Oh gee. Alright. Don't worry, I got this. Of course, I'm, I'm not really hiding, I'm just gonna go in and kill you all. That's how I do things. Get out of my way. Bring it on. There's Lucas Assassin! It's, uh, is, is it Bruno Tatalia? Roberto Luciano. Wait, who the hell is that guy? I don't even know. Oh, we gotta get to the safe house in time. I don't know what's gonna happen if we don't. Don't wanna find out. Stay away from me. All right, we're leaving Midtown again. Hey, what did I do now? Come on, cops. That's not very nice of you. Dang it. Uh, there we go. Try and catch me now. I'm gonna pick up some speeds and we'll be out of here. Good, good, good. Cops can't navigate, and neither can I. Whoa. Now that car. I really want to try that car once. It can drive incredibly fast. It's pretty weak, though. <laughs> Get out of here. Woo! No, don't... Oh, I hate it when they crash into cars like that. And... Dang it! It's kind of difficult maneuvering the car. It's not really precise controls. I still like it. C certain places in the city you can find like ramps and stuff to drive your car on. Onto the sidewalk with your car. We're falling behind. I just wish I... That's how I look behind. The mouse wheel. Who would have guessed? Ugh. That's gonna be useful. Here we are. Little Italy. We're not gonna see... Oh. Still a lot of those cars around. They're gonna disappear as we <gasps> get further in, sadly. Sorry, we're in a hurry. And the heat from one area does not transfer to the next, which is pretty cool. But of course the vendetta against the mob families do. Wait, I should have taken a swing there. I'll just... Ooh, perfect. Don't know why I call that. Perfect! Out of my way. Out of my way! Sorry, he didn't move. Obey me! There we go. And safe. Luca was killed. Yeah, hello? Monk. Yeah? Monk. Something terrible's happened. They ain't not on the telephone, kid. All right, I'll meet you. When? Barbershop on March Street. I'll meet you down here this afternoon. But. I can't make it soon. <sighs> Keep your mouth shut, all right? I'll see you later. Oh my god. They killed Luca. Sleeping with the fishes. Do -do 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 -do. That was pretty good. And are we gonna advance respect level? No, we're actually not. It's kind of disappointing. Alright, so we don't have that much time in the episode. We don't have time to do the next mission. Maybe we should just try and rob the bank. Maybe that would be fun. Maybe bribe the cops a little. You could do us a big favor by turning down the heat. Sure thing. I'll do what I can. <laughs> like on the like on the open street. Oh, oh you cops. All right. 
Okay, so there's the vault we need to get into. All right, let's do this. I don't know why he keeps aiming at ladies. I think Jacob is something against ladies. All right, plant dynamite. We got it. Now we need to hide. All right, go, go, go. Don't go into baby mode. All right, so what's the money amount in here? 4,000? That's not really a lot. But still, I think the bribed cop is gonna keep the heat off us. So I think you can actually just run home like- Yeah! I heard the boys at the station. Exactly! I'm allowed to rob banks by paying them $500. That's the glory of this game. Oh, I'm really excited for doing The Godfather 2. That's a really cool game. Gotta take over every single strip club. But first we want to got to do this game. Our right, respect level 11. Maybe we should actually uh not upgrade but spend the points. I think we're going to go with shooting. All right. It's been another good episode. We did two missions and we robbed the bank. Not the most eventful episode, but we do have to do some story missions now and then. I guess that in the next episode we will do the next story mission, because I think we're getting close to actually being part of the family. And I just want to like get into the family, and then we can start just taking over every single place. So I hope you will join me in the next episode. My name's been Voices from the Dark, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, why not subscribe? I don't know. It's always nice, and you can get them on your home homepage. And I will see you in the next episode. So until then, my name's been Voices from the Dark, this has been Jacob. And he's signing out. Goodbye, everybody. My mustache is great.